was there a mentor or there was just an opportunity in that moment? There was just, a, there really was just an, a, an opportunity. Guy I worked for, still love him today, love yeah. the family. Um, but that's not what they did. Um, but James B. Marion was in my head. Wow. If you believe you can achieve, never, never give up the harder you work. So what I did, yeah. just like when I picked up that book in fourth grade, I read, again, we didn't have the internet, so I read uh, the NAR magazine, the PAR magazine. I took every course at Temple. Most agents get their license and that's it. They stop their education. Took every course at Temple. Took a sales training course with Alan Dom, you know, the king of condos. Nice. Okay. Yeah, um, wow, took every course. Cool. Then I would go to the national convention, to the state convention. So I was getting my information outside of the marketplace. But because I had gone door to door before, I was running off copies of flyers, handing stuff out door to door. My wife helped me hand out with the kids, wow. stuff door to door. And I started to, you know, started to grow. So I, June of 86 was when I hung my license. By, in 1988, I was the number one agent in Philadelphia for transactions. I did 90, That's amazing. 90 transactions. 88. 1988. 90 transactions. You didn't have in-house mortgage companies. You didn't have in-house title companies. Um, and you didn't have a conveyancer. So I cleared every title. I filled out the city certification form, got the check from the broker, addressed the envelope, and mailed it. You didn't have, we didn't even have fax back then. Fax, well, fax came about 87, 88, but you couldn't really use it. It would, would roll up. Um, so everything was FedEx. Settlements took 90 days. You went to the lender. You went to the title company. Be wait, you know, waiting an IVT title. At, uh, so, every, but I did 90 transactions. And I still went in for the first, well, the first year and a half in real estate. I still went into the Hilton, 5.30 in the morning till about 10.30 in the morning. And I still worked weddings my first year and a half. So the first year and a half, so that was you were working that at the job Hilton. at the Hilton. Yeah, I bought somebody else on the cut. Yeah, bought some until so, about ten thirty. I bought somebody else on to handle my to do my lunch and to do my coffee breaks in the afternoon. And I would still do weddings, um, just because you know. So your time block was split in the morning. You did what you had to do to pay yeah. the bills. Yes. In the afternoon and evening, what did you do? Door knock. Yes. So I would hand stuff out. I would take buyers out. I would, I would be in the office. I remember even back then, people say, "Whenever I call, I always get you." I, you know, I created an ad. I said, "You know, we have to do an ad in the South Florida Review. We have to do an ad in the weekly." So I cre created ads, and I just, I didn't even have open houses. There was no, they didn't have listings. I didn't even have open house. So I would just, just work, just work buyers, and then, um, that was it.